Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. This time around, I did not ask you guys for submissions for a very good reason. This is the most extra carries that I could find, and I felt like if I asked you guys to show me your extra carries, you guys would just pile a bunch of stuff in a photo and take a photo of it and kind of fake it for the show. I didn't want that. I wanted the real stuff. So I went through months and months and months of submissions and got some really, we'll call them crowded everyday carries. So this is the most extra EDC Weekly, and let's do the damn thing. So per usual with the EDC Weekly, we're gonna start with what I'm carrying this week. And today in my pocket is one of my favorite knives, the Pena Mula Custom that I picked up at Blade Show. This thing is just so sweet. The action on it is perfect. And then I love this closing sound. If you kinda, it's got a kind of a ring to it. You probably can't hear it because it's subtle. Also the flashlight hasn't changed since last time. This is the flashlight I carry the most right now. It's big and chunky, but man, I love this light. It's so good with that secondary red. This is the Lao Lima Ion in bronze. And I just threw a little Urban Carver's, I think this is a bronzed titanium bead on it. The wallet also hasn't changed. Still carrying the open sea leather two-tone green and caramel. Can't remember what color this is, uh, but this is the Hubei 2.0. Pen I did switch up. This is the bolt action from Big Idea Design. And I do, you guys have influenced me. Believe it or not, you've influenced me. I do still have pocket trash in my pockets. I don't know why I'm carrying both every day, but I still have the Northeast Oddities uh, UPO or Unidentified Party Object with a Combat Beads bead on it and the Celtic Kraken Hitex chip. But if I'm gonna be completely honest, the knife that's been in my pocket the most this week, no joke, it's one that I slept on for way too long. It's not very big, it's not very expensive, but it is so good. The Spyderco Dragonfly. I really, really, truly like this knife a lot. I didn't think I would like it originally because it's a backlock and it's very small. This thing is sick. I've cut myself with it twice, but it's really a really good knife. But that's what I'm carrying. Now, let's get on to some news from the community. First up, selfishly, the first thing I wanna talk about from the community is my own live streams. I've been talking about doing this for a long, long time, but now I'm doing streams every Monday morning. I'm still trying to come up with a name for the stream, but every Monday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern, I'm gonna be doing a live stream right here on YouTube. In time, it may actually switch over to Twitch, especially if I start playing video games or doing other things. Like I've been talking about maybe doing some smoking sessions, like meats, smoking the meats. I'm making meats now. Smoking these meats here. Do I smoke meat? Smoking meat, smoking these meats, smoking meats earlier in the day, smoking these meats, good smoky flavor. Over on Twitch, so maybe it'll eventually move over there and I'll do more stuff, but currently I'm just doing kind of a QA and a hangout, just hanging out with you guys Monday mornings just to get the, the juices flowing in my brain and, you know, connect with you guys. I've been kind of distant, not distant, but just, I've been busy and I just want to dedicate some time to hanging out with you guys and talking to you on a live stream. So Monday mornings, 10 a.m. Eastern, I'll be right here live. Another piece of news from me is that the Best Damn EDC website is now back up and running. It's operational. It's gonna take some time to get some content back up and going, but we are putting effort into running the site the way I originally intended to run it. So submissions from you guys, just like you'd see here on the EDC Weekly, we're gonna feature more of them over on the website, as well as article versions of the videos that I have here on the channel. And the idea is also to add different like editorial stuff to the website as well. So I wanna do things that I wouldn't normally have the time to make videos about here, I wanna do over on the website so there can be both a written component to the videos and then also articles that I don't make videos about. All that's to say, bestmedc.com is now back up and running and we're gonna keep it running moving forward. That's a promise. The other piece of news comes from Leatherman. They just released a new model called the Curl. So it looks like a Leatherman wave, but if you cut off like one layer of the outside, so you have a straight edge blade and a file, so it's missing the uh, serrated blade and the saw. 
and it has, I think, the same tool set in the on the inside, except for maybe the eyeglasses screwdriver. This one also has a pocket clip, but unlike the Wave, where it had that add-on pocket clip that kind of just slides into the scale, this one has a bolted-on pocket clip, the same one that you see on the Leatherman Free P2 and P4. So it's a really nice, rigid, deep carry clip and it's only $80. So that's a really cool offering from Leatherman. Also coming up very, very soon is this little knife right here, the Baby Banter. This one's actually branded Civivi, not we, but it's still designed by Ben Peterson. So it is the baby version of the Banter. Uh, as you can see, it's considerably smaller. It is a very small knife, but it's surprisingly very comfortable in the hands. The best part is that it's only gonna be $60 and it has Nitro V blade steel. It has a reversible pocket clip, whereas the uh, original banter did not, and a choil. So this is actually a pretty surprising offering. I mean, I know he's been talking about making a smaller banter for a while, but that same action, really, really good ergos. I'd say this is even better than the full-size banter, at least in terms of how it fits in the hand. And in my personal opinion, it's a little more interesting to me than the original banter. I don't know, I'm on a small knife kick right now. I've been on a huge knife kick for a long time, but lately, as I said earlier, the Dragonfly and the Pena that I carry is not exactly a big knife either. So I'm on a small knife kick right now. But yeah, these are coming out August 26th. Finally, the last bit of news comes from Arcane Designs. If you guys are familiar with his work, he makes very futuristic, spacey knives. They're very angular, almost like Vero Designs, but more spacey and angular, uh, but he's actually coming out with a pry bar. It's called the Space Bar. It's $120, but it has a, a very thick, beefy pry bar with a pocket clip built in and bit storage in the sides. And it does use micro bits and it's got a bit driver in the, the tail end of it. So uh, that's a pretty interesting offer. I didn't know that was coming out, but some of you let me know. Uh, and, and just to wrap this news section up, um, if you guys have any news, there is a form on the Best MEDC website. There's a submit button at the very top and you can submit a carry or you can submit a tip about new products and things coming up. So if you have news or things that are happening in the community that you think I should know about, you can go there, submit in that form, and it might pop up in the new section here from the community. Before we go any further, I wanna thank our sponsor for this video, Big Idea Design. Big Idea Design makes titanium pocket tools like the TPT Slide, a tiny utility blade holder that packs a host of extra tools. More recently, they've made the Bitbar Inline, a pocket screwdriver that stores bits in the handle and has a T and offset T handle configurations. Big Idea Design also specializes in making highly adaptable everyday pins that work with dozens of different refills, like the Pocket Pro, the TI Click EDC, and the new the bolt action. They also make much smaller pins like the mini pin, mini click, and now the new mini bolt action, which trade broad refill compatibility with extreme portability. To learn more about what Big Idea Design has to offer, click the link in the description down below. And if you decide to purchase anything, use the coupon code CARRYON at checkout for 10% off your order. And if you do, it'll help support the show. And once again, I wanna thank Big Idea Design for sponsoring this video. Just to clarify before I get into this, uh, this is gonna be a little different than a typical EDC Weekly feature because for the exact same reason I've not done a bag dump episode, there's a lot to unpack in every single one of these submissions. That's the whole gist here. Uh, and I just can't go through every single item. So what we're doing differently this time is in the description, I will have linked the things that I talk about in each carry, but everything that's in each carry will be over on the website. That's how the website is a little more useful. When I do big episodes of the EDC Weekly and I try to link everything, I actually exceed the description length. <laughs> there, there's a, a limit to how much you can put in the description of a YouTube video. And a lot of them, especially if I feature a bunch or there's a lot in the carries, I can't link everything. So the website will come in handy for that. With that said, the very first submission comes from Carmen, or as you may know her as Rue over in the Discord, she's one of the mods, or Alice Creation over on Instagram and on Etsy. So she's a Hank maker and she also carries a lot. So as you can see in this photo, I think this one was actually submitted for last week's episode, the Pocket Trash Edition. She's got a Psypop with one of those chill pills in it. She's got an Armstrong Metalworks blueprint coin or a solar blueprint coin. There's four high-tech chips inside of an open sea leather coin pouch. Two knives here. She's got a Grimsmo Norseman and a GEC Viper. Lynch Northwest All Access Pass. There's a an Olite M2R Warrior, a Steel Flame Zippo with some beads on that. Log and Jotter Handkerchief. There's a wallet in the top left. A Tech Accessories Tie Tape and then a Zelos Mako in bronze. 
lot of stuff here, a lot of stuff. The thing about this for me and in every carry we're gonna see here is how, <laughs> how do you carry all these things? Like I carry what I think most people would consider a lot. When I start putting little pieces of pocket trash, even just these two really make me feel like I'm carrying far too much. This is next level. The only way I could see myself carrying more than what I currently do is if I had a bag every day, like my little sling. I carry a Vanquist Dendrite quite a bit and I can pack a bunch of stuff into that and not feel like I'm carrying nearly as much. But if you don't have some sort of satchel or bag that you carry every day, I genuinely don't know how you guys carry this, this amount of stuff. Rue says, I need a nice spicy bead for my lighter. Also hoping to upgrade and get a large bougie flashlight eventually. After being an ADC pretty heavy for a few years here, you kind of descend the sanity ladder and end up liking pocket trash. A year ago, it made no sense to me beyond a top or a fidget spinner. She says, yes, I carry these things. I wear cargo pants and a belt, and that's all you need. Some of these things have uh, a pouch or leather slip to go into as well. Cargo pants, I guess, would make sense, but does that not like flop around when you're walking? I can't get on board with cargo pants. I'd have to have a bag or satchel or something. Um, all this stuff is really cool though. I love those high text chips, especially uh, the get out of jail free card. That one's really cool. It's extra bouge and super pocket trashy. I, it's a cool carry. It's just a lot of stuff. But anyway, thank you for submitting Rue and uh, sorry you made it to the most extra carries. <laughs> I'm gonna apologize to all of you who made it into this. This is not me critiquing you guys. This is just, I always show super minimal very similar gear, very similar layouts, and I wanted to mix it up and show the other side. Everything is highly curated, and I get a lot of different types of submissions, and I, I wanna give some of those other ones a chance as well. So this is not me like putting you guys on blast or critiquing, this is just another facet. Just like the pocket trash, this is another facet of EDC, and you guys should be included as well. So the next submission comes from the Hermit. That's really all he says. And in this photo, we've got just, how do I begin? The, literally the list is like 20 lines long. I don't even know how to explain a lot of this stuff to you. It's skull carry, heavily skull themed. The, the thing about this carry is the more you look at it, the more you notice the hidden elements in it. So if you zoom into the very top left corner of the photo, there's something else. So there's a skull handkerchief in the background, but if you zoom into the top left, there's another skull pattern something. I don't even know what it is. There's so many skulls here. And then if you zoom into the top right, there's a bracelet, a skull bracelet that's hidden in the handkerchief. You have to look closely. There's a necklace with a skull on it. There are just hidden things. The bottom right, there's a flask with skulls on it that just kind of blends into the handkerchief. There's a skull lighter next to that. Uh, so the more you look at this photo, the more things just kind of pop out. The one thing I can tell you that I notice in the middle is a Ridge wallet, and next to that is a Rovivon flashlight. There's also something to note here. There's two wallets in this photo, and the second one he calls a, what is it, a self-defense wallet that if somebody were to mug him, actually, no, I take that back. There's a third wallet. There's a Chum's Surf Short wallet to the right. So there's... I think a coin purse between the ridge and the wallet underneath that, and then a surf shorts wallet to the right. So there's a total of three wallets and a coin purse in this carry. So I'm not sure what the need for three wallets yeah, is. That's, that's a lot of stuff. So the Hermit says, hi, best MEDC. I've watched most, if not all of your videos on YouTube. I love them and it has helped me massively for evolving my EDC. Thank you from London. Um, the blue light glasses, zero magnification for use from the computer as my shifts are long. This is very useful if you're in front of a PC screen the majority of the time. The tactical flashlight can be used in a last resort like a Yawa stick to escort people off the premises or in general self-defense situation. I have never had to use it to escort someone off the premises, thank goodness. The Ola S1R2 baton small flashlight I use generally for many patrols. The Memento Mori coin I also use as a fidget while on patrol or sitting at the reception desk reading emails or watching the CCTV camera. It is also used while killing time when I am not busy watching YouTube. So this is his off-duty carry. He says the next photo is actually his on-duty carry, which has more in it. The one thing I want to note, and I'm going to put you on blast a little bit, Hermit, just a little bit. You have three wallets, but the Ridge wallet if I were to estimate that Ridge wallet has like 20 cards in it, 
That Ridge wallet is like this thick. And then there's two more wallets. What in the world are you carrying? How many debit cards and like loyalty cards are in there? That's a lot, dude. That is a really thick wallet. <laughs> it's as wide or tall, it's as tall as it is wide. That's crazy. Anyway, thank you for sharing this carry. It's really, I, I really would be interested to see how you carry all of this. Like you have to, ha you have to have a bag. You have to, I don't see any other option. There's no way. Anyway, thank you again for sharing. The next carry comes from Carlos Alberto Rodriguez. And this one, while it is one of the most extra carries, I think it's the least of the most extra. I definitely have carried about this much in my pockets before. It's a lot, kind of feels heavy, but this is doable in, in terms of just pocket carry. Also this little key clip that he has, that's really interesting. I've not seen that before and I'd be interested to know more about it. But first up, we've got, I see a Bertucci watch in the top left of the photo. He's got this Funko Pop Mandalorian keychain on his keys, a leather journal with a field notes notebook in it. There's a US Army commemorative silver dollar with an Olay I3T EOS on that. For that little clip that I was talking about, it just says titanium belt keyring holder all it really says. He also has a Dango D01 dapper bifold, a Zippo lighter with a leather cover, a Vitorinox hiker with the uh, walnut scales, which is really nice, a Boker Magnum, and below that some Razer Hammerhead wireless earbuds. There's a Samsung S20 FE, and then uh, that is in a generic soft grip leather cover. Uh, and there's a handkerchief underneath everything. Carlos says, greetings, or as we say in Puerto Rico, saludos. I've always carried most of these items. I never thought EDC was a thing. I retired two years ago and in my retirement boredom, I stumbled into your channel. Thanks a lot, now I'm hooked. These items keep me organized and on top of all of my things to do. I love the look and feel of wood and leather, nothing against any other material. The only improvement for my EDC, I believe would be a nicer pen. Since I'm constantly misplacing my writing utensils, I can't bring myself to buy a $100 copper pen. My wife would kill me if I misplaced it. I'm a huge Star Wars fan since it was the first movie my parents took me to back in 1977. So I must always have something from a galaxy far, far away in my EDC. The only shiny object in my EDC is my US Army silver dollar. It reminds me of the best time in my life and that all things are possible if you put your mind to it. I can't relate on the Star Wars thing. I know Megan's back here like nodding and she's like, yes, she's a huge Star Wars fan. Never gonna get into it. Sorry, it's just uh, not my thing. I find your lack of faith disturbing. I know you hate me every time I say that, Megan, but I just gotta let it be known. I, I am a defector. Uh, that titanium clip, I'd like to know more about it. I don't know anything about it. I'm gonna have to look it up after this, but uh, if I find anything, it will be linked down below. But yeah, this is, I think, a really nicely put together carry because it's all leather and, and two pieces of wood. That's a very me sort of thing to do, but uh, still a lot of stuff to carry though. But thank you anyway for sharing, Carlos. And uh, next up, we have a submission from Sebastian Kaiser or at Barrage72 over on Instagram. The reason I chose this one is because of the redundancy. There's not, I wouldn't say a ton of gear here, nothing super bulky, but there are two multi-tools which have knives on them and then there are two more knives. So a total of four cutting utensils in one carry and three writing utensils in one carry. And one of those pins has multiple pins in it. So I think that's four or five colors in that one pin. First up, we have a Ridge wallet in the top left corner. There's an Exotac Nano Striker XL, which is a fire starter next to that. And below that is an Olay I3T EOS. First multi-tool is a Leatherman Squirt. The next one at the bottom is a Leatherman Signal in the Topo edition that you can get from REI. There's also a Benchmade 940 as well as a Griptilian. The watch that you see is a Phoenix 6. And then we'll go over to the pins. We have a tactile turn bolt action, as well as a Pentel Graph Gear 1000. That's a, a lead pencil actually. And then a four color standard Bic pin. To the left is a Moleskine notebook with a Strike Eagle Platinum tool. And then finally, there is a key organizer somewhere listed, but I don't see it anywhere. Sebastian says, this is my EDC for work. I fly fighters in the Air Force. I couldn't go a day without my Griptilium or my Graph Gear 1000. Both I've been carrying for over eight years. That's really, really neat. Um, I understand about why two pens if you've got a mechanical pencil. I understand like a pen and a pencil, but three? Be interested to know. Unless you like draw or sketch and you want multiple colors, then I understand. But whatever, this is really cool. And those Exotac strikers are actually really, really neat. This is a lot of gear. I think the, the biggest thing for me was the redundancy, like the multiple pens and so many cutting tools. Like, 
Uh, do you have like a food prep knife and a, a like hard use knife or what's what's the deal? I don't know. Anyway, thank you for sharing, Sebastian. Next up, we have a submission from Ethan Frusher or Mountain underscore guy 2807 over on Instagram. Same deal here, except this time we have a total of five knives, a pair of scissors and a Leatherman. So that's a lot. First up, we have an Essie Azula. That's the fixed blade at the top of the the stack of knives. Below that is a Rayat uh, Kirby Lambert Augustus with micarta scales, as well as a Benchmade Bugout and a Benchmade Adamus. There's a JB Boswell Custom Pipe, a Citizen Promaster Diver, that's the watch on the top left, as well as a Nightcore MH20GT. That's the flashlight that you see in the center of the photo next to the Leatherman Raptor Trauma Shears. There's an Olight i5T EOS, a Damascus ring with black opal, meteorite, and moon particles. There's a Leatherman signal. That's the one that's in the pouch. And then finally, the last few things, we have an Apache Pine Happy Camper Wallet, Apache Pine Alien Zippo, an Uberlieben Ferro Rod, and then finally a Benchmade Luku 3V Steel. He says, I'm missing an OD green pin and looking for a pry bar. OD green pin, you have the easy one. This is from right in the rain. They make that in OD green. Beyond that, uh, that's kind of tough. I've got like a, a mini click from Big Idea Design that was Cerakoted green, but that was a limited run and they're gone now. So I'm not sure about a OD green pin, but the pry bar, I mean, there's a million. There's Griffin Pocket Tools, Lynch Northwest. Hero has the Fulcrum. There's a lot of different pry bars. So uh, he also says the custom ring I had made by a friend as a reminder to never give up on myself. I had a fiance who died in 2015 from cystic fibrosis. And she always said, I love you to the moon and back. So now I always have the moon on my hand and can remember her cheering me on when I find myself struggling. That is that's actually really moving and very sweet. But that's really cool. Uh, the question I have is why so many knives? Do you carry all of these knives every day? Because that's five knives, two fixed blades. And then you've got another knife in the Leatherman. And then you have two sets of scissors, right? You've got the Leatherman signal, which has actually, does it have scissors? I don't remember, but you at least have the Leatherman Raptor shears as well. So that's like six, seven ways to cut things. That's a lot, my guy. <laughs> that is a whole lot. Uh, the other question is why two flashlights? You say the Olay is used on the daily as well as the night core, especially when I take my black lab outside at night or on hiking trips. But why two flashlights? I understand like one little keychain light on your keys that's really dim and then like something a little more powerful like this. Like I get two in that regard, but two that are, uh, these are definitely different lights, but I'm saying like they're both relatively powerful lights. I don't know, interesting. Uh, but anyway, thank you for sharing Sebastian. The next submission comes from Ron or SA underscore gunslinger over on Instagram. And this one has a lot. There's a lot of brass here. This is not only just a lot, it's also heavy. I can just feel the weight of this carry. Uh, first up, he has an Apple iPhone 11 as well as a brass toothpick holder. Next to that is a Hitch and Timber Scrawlet as well as a Hitch and Timber Runt 2.0. He has a pocket comb above that. And then we have a big idea design Pocket Pro in brass, Prometheus Beta QR V2 also in brass, a ZNC Metalworks Pry Bar, a Giltec Ruck V2, and then a Marinez Lyon watch. Not familiar with that. Right in the rain notepad, as well as a first aid kit, a key hanger in brass with a brass whistle, a tweezer, and a pick tool also on the keys. There's a Zippo in brass with a leather Zippo belt holder, an Ace of Hanks Skull Hank, then a Colonel Littleton knife also in brass, and some glasses to the very bottom left. He says, any ideas on a three and a half inch to four inch brass lockback in the style of the little one that I carry. I don't know of any knives that are like all brass handled that size. That'd be a heavy knife. The only thing that I can think of, and it's not a lockback, would be like getting brass scales for a Benchmade proper. As far as a lockback, I don't know. Maybe you can find a lockback Spyderco and get brass scales for it, but that's a tough one, man. Not sure. Uh, so basically with this carry, like, man, I love leather and brass. I think those go together so well. Throw in some titanium and you've got like my favorite. Brass or bronze, titanium and leather is like the best combo. And my Carta, don't forget my Carta. But the problem I have is just the weight of brass. Um, I'm not afraid to carry a brass knife or something like that, but when you start putting a brass pin, a brass knife, a brass pry bar, a brass flashlight, a brass watch, all that together, like I would say my carry probably weighs like maybe a pound or less, but if you're considering an all brass carry that's leather and brass, like all of this, it's like two pounds, three pounds. I've weighed my carry before when it was all brass and it was in excess of two pounds. That's 
that's a lot just to be pulling your pants down all the time. <laughs> so you gotta have a good belt for all that. But yeah, still it looks great. It patina so well. Like this right here, this bronze flashlight, look at the patina on this thing. It looks so good now. When I got this thing, it was totally fresh, like 100% polished, almost mirrored. And look at it now, it just looks so good. And it's just gonna look better with time, same as everything else in this carry. So really cool stuff. Anyway, thank you for sharing. So the last carry comes from Dustin Wolf. And this one by far wins the most extra of the most extras. It's just a lot of stuff. And it's highly organized, but it's still a lot of stuff. And he's well aware of that. Uh, I'm gonna read the list because the list is not as long as what you would think looking at this. There's a lot of stuff omitted, I believe. But anyway, first up, the coat that you see, the jacket in the very back is an Alpha Industries M65 field jacket. He also has a bunch of H&D leather items. That includes a snap card wallet, a belt, a watch strap, phone holster, a key clip and Zippo holster, sunglasses case, field notes organizer, and a three slot EDC organizer. So those are all the leather things that you see here. He also has a Boker Gent XL in titanium, a Zippo in the armor edition, Zippo fuel container, Zippo Flint Dispenser, Streamlight MicroStream, KeySmart Titanium, Distill Union Maglock Seafarer Sunglasses, Zebra F-701, Field Notes Notebook, uh, SanDisk 64 gigabyte flash drive, Anchor Lightning Cable, and a Timex Weekender. He says, I definitely don't mind criticism, but I'm very pleased with the functionality of this arrangement. I wanted everything to be functional, comfortable, and last a long time. I've used ballistic nylon for years, and while it works well, it draws a lot of attention, so I thought I'd try a leather variant of my setup. I've always liked the M65 jacket for its toughness, classic design, and generous pocket space. If you buy one, get one from the original manufacturer, and no, I don't wear the belt on the outside of my jacket, LMAO. Well, it's really cool to see how this is all laid out, but I'm just gonna critique one thing. The photo is a little dark and blurry, but there's just so much there's so many pouches and things and I don't know what's in what. So this is definitely the most extra because this is the most stuff for sure, but it's one of the shortest descriptions. So there's a lot of stuff here that that I can't see. There's a pouch here with a Leatherman in it and a whole bunch of stuff that I, I don't know what all that is. There's another flashlight it looks like in the bag. There's a whole bunch of stuff on a little key ring at the bottom like a padlock and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pouches at the top. It's highly organized. There's definitely a lot of stuff here, but if you carry this stuff every single day, you are definitely prepared. <laughs> That's the best way to put it, I guess. This, again, not critiquing people for carrying so much. You do you, really, doesn't bother me. I personally have shrunk my carry and shrunk it and shrunk it. And I'll add some things like some pocket trash from time to time, just cause they're fun and nice to carry and fiddle with. But for the most part, my carry is the smallest it's ever been. Um, I used to carry so much stuff with me every day. Yeah, this is definitely the polar opposite of what we normally see in the EDC weeklies. It's cool to see that other side from time to time. That's what I'm getting at. And uh, it's different strokes for everybody. And this is a big, big community with so many different people. And I think I've failed some people in the community by focusing so much on like the curation and the really cool fancy gear. There's so much more to it. And it's not just budget gear and really expensive, cool, exclusive, hard to find stuff. There's lots of ins and outs and little in between sections of EDC. And I, I really want to focus in on like covering all of it as best I can. And it's, it's tough but I'm gonna try. So thank you all for sharing and submitting your, your carries. Uh, I know I pulled these from several months ago, but if you wanna keep the show going and keep it weekly, let's keep the submissions rolling in. Go to edcw.co, submit your carry, and maybe you'll be featured in a future episode. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you found it helpful and enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna support what I'm doing here, everything you saw in this video will be linked down below. Many of those are affiliate links. If you click them and purchase anything, it helps support what I'm doing here. You can also go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc if you wanna support there or carrycommission.com where you can buy gear and merch directly from me just like this shirt this is a brand new shirt the old gag the snack shirt you can buy this right now over at carry.best also be sure to follow us on the web you can find us in most places at best mbdc with that said and until next time carry on